In this module, we'll look at how to set tabs in our documents. And as we get going here, I want to point out a couple of things that I'm going to do to set this up. Uh, first of all, I've set up a new document here called Set Tabs. And I'm going to show our formatting marks here. I'm going to go to the Paragraph section of the Home tab of the ribbon and click on this button here, Show Hide Your Paragraph and Formatting Marks here. So that will let us actually see some of the tabs that we'll create here. And I'm also going to go to the View tab and I'm going to show my ruler and that's really key to how we can set tabs. In fact, there's a couple different ways you can do this and I'll show you in the next module how to be a little more granular about this, but just to quickly set tabs in the document is a fairly simple task that really starts with the view and showing your ruler. So once that's done, I want you to know that your default tab stop, if you press the tab key on the keyboard, is a half an inch. And again, in the next module, I'll show you how to change that. So if I press the tab key four times, notice it takes me over to the two inch marker in the document. So two inches from the left margin, if I start typing, boom, it's because I've hit the tab key four times, that's how far it takes me into the document. Now you can be, of course, you have more control over it than just that, and taking the default tab stop. So I'll create a new line here and tabs are generally used to create lists of things. So in this paragraph, I'll start to create a list, and I'll do so by starting our list at about the one and a half inch marker into the document here, or into this line. And I'll do this by just clicking a tab. Now, here's all I have to do. All I have to do is drag the mouse to the ruler and make a click. And you can see it put that little L-shaped symbol there, which I can, well, I actually just put a second one there. But I can move these things around by clicking and dragging. So there's the one I meant to move, and you have to be a little bit precise about the mouse, as you've just seen. But I can click and drag it maybe a little bit further than the one and a half inch mark just by doing that. Now if I press the tab key, it takes me in an inch and a half, and I start typing, and there we go. So what I've done here is I've put in a left stop, and the button that controls this in the ruler is this button on the very left-hand side. So if I wanted to make other kinds of tabs, I can make center tabs, I can make right justified tabs, and just moving the mouse off and on the button will show you the screen tip for that. That's something called a decimal tab, which I'll show you in just a moment. You also have a bar tab, which is not what you think it is. It's not what you get at the end of the night at 2.30 a.m. Then if I just keep clicking, uh, you get first line indent and the hanging indent is what that is, as you can see there. So that's how you use the tabs. So all you have to do is click on your tab selector here. So a center tab, I can click, bingo, just set it in there. I'm going to move this one out of the way for now and then move this one over here. So team, tab, and we'll do a one loss record. W, and then we'll do a right justified over there. And I've got a autocorrect entry for the W. I type Windows a lot, so as you can see. So what do I do to fix that? Control Z takes me to, corrects it to just W, erases the autocorrect entry, getting a little crossover lessons here. But tab, it takes me to that right justified tab stop, and I can do team W, L. So I'm starting to build a team and a win-loss record here, just a very simple list that I've put together. So now that you know how to add tabs to use that ruler, and now how you know how to move them around by, again, clicking and dragging, and you can do this after the fact. Notice I've got the tab stop and said, you know, I don't want it there. Let me see what it looks like if I put it over here. No, I actually like them a little closer together. That's fine. You can do that again by just clicking and dragging the tabs around the ruler. If you want to delete a tab, it's a matter of clicking and dragging except instead of clicking and dragging left or right, you just click straight down, and then poof, the tab goes away. The bar tab, by the way, in case you're wondering, what is that thing? The bar tab doesn't actually govern text, but rather, wherever you set the bar tab, there is going to be a line in between, or right at the insertion point of the tab itself. So let's go back to our home tab and just very briefly look at what we've started to create here. I'll turn off our formatting marks, and there we go. Team, W, L, and with the tabs, I've started to create a list.